This podcast is brought to you by the following sponsors. Your San Diego County Toyota dealers. We've got what it takes. Fix Auto. Corky's Pest Control. And Lolita's Family of Restaurants. Hey sports fans, welcome to the f- the final Axe Cast. The Open Division Championship Lax Cast. This is it, coach. Two will enter, one will leave as the best team in San Diego County. Before we get to that, though, the, one of the teams that's going to be playing is La Costa Canyon. Congratulations to the Mavericks on beating Poway. Hey, Coach, can you hold this for me for a second? Sure. Because I got I to gotta, I gotta just address something real quick. <laughs> I have caught Islander fever. <laughs> I, I am a full-blown member of the Tiki Squad now. I got myself a game jersey that I, I can I can rock at the game. Coronado beat Tory Pines, folks. In case you were living under a rock and or were under, like you lost your connection to Twitter last night, Tory Pines, the number one team in San Diego, the 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 just the defending everything. They're the, allegedly the greatest team in the country, potentially state state. Nope. Because the Islanders snaked him, took him down six unanswered in the fourth quarter. That was a great game. And that sets up, honestly, the most interesting final we have seen in a long time. The Islanders, the Mavericks, they played just a couple weeks ago. It was a 12-11 LCC win. So right off the bat, if we have a repeat of that game, regardless of who wins, this is going to be a great, this is going to be a, a finals for the history books. Coach, there's a lot of points to talk about, X's and O's wise. Just give me, give me, just, just start talking. Well, I mean, first off, going, going on the upset, you know, which clearly it was. I mean, you, you, you have a, a twelve point difference, nineteen to seven, a week ago with Coronado and Tory, and I think that played into it. And you know, Tory had the chance to put him away. It was three nothing. It seemed like the whole game, uh, Tory and Coronado. You know, like it is when you got, when you got scrappy, tough players, and you leave them in a game. A lot of times. You know, in the fourth quarter, things can just change. And that's, you know, Torrey didn't do a good job putting him away, and Coronado did a great job taking advantage of, of every mistake Torrey made in the fourth quarter. So it was a great game. It's great for those kids. I mean, obviously, I know a lot of them on both sides. but uh, they were, That's why you're our expert analyst. <laughs> it, it was great for those kids in, in, in that town. And, uh, and, and I, I think they're really looking forward to play LCC because that was a game that – got away from them early and they came back and then lost it, you know, with less than a minute left. And uh, it ended up being a great game. One of the better games that I saw all season uh, in, in high school out here. So, uh, so I, I think it's going to be a great matchup. All right, let's do this. I'm going to throw some words at you and you just kind of give me a reaction if they fall into one team having the advantage or the other. Strength of schedule during the regular season. LaCosta. Goaltending. Coronado. Offensive playmaking, let's, let's say. Just the ability to, to score when they need to score. LCC. Student section. Coronado. Parent edition of the student. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to answer that one. Um, yeah, uh, uh, coaching staff. Uh, maybe not a grading of the coaching staff, but Coach Cooper at, at LCC. Uh, not, um, yes, Coach Cooper at LCC. New... Yeah, new yeah, coach well, clearly, and you, and and coaches at Coronado, not new coach. You clearly have experienced a, a, a senior, experienced coaching staff, uh, whatever it's been, 16, 17 years in Coronado, uh, going up against a, a first-time head coach, a high school head coach, great player in college, and and uh, and, and good guy, and, and knows his, certainly knows his stuff. So that you know that it, it proved you know, he won the matchup with Burke. Uh, this year twice, and that's impressive. So obviously Cooper knows what he's doing, and uh, I, I, you know, I don't think the coaching is going to have a huge impact on this game. I think you got a bunch of kids. The dynamic in this game is pretty funny. That these are the same two teams that in eighth grade played in the finals in San Diego. So that and went into overtime, and, and LCC won, which was the Mustangs. So I don't know if that, I have that, the 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 the, the heart for another an overtime open division final. I don't know if I could handle that. Is this a is this a complete just we're gonna we're gonna see them feel each other out middleweight fight and then come the fourth quarter like we saw with Coronado versus Tory that's when the game's gonna get decided or is this gonna be a haymaker get out there throw all your punches early and then adjust type of fight I I, I think both teams are gonna be really aggressive offensively they both have uh, very uh, is it both teams have a 
a, a, an offensive approach that that when they get the opportunity they attack and and I know LCC they, they once they get going they're tough to stop Coronado they they make plays you know they and if they're moving off ball and and they're initiating dodges they're, they're really hard to stop too so I think they go right at each other I don't see this as a feel out type thing I think um, I think they'll be aggressive and I, th I think you're going to see a fairly high scoring game I don't I do not think it'll be as low scoring as a Tory game I just think uh, I, I think you know the Coronado defense was superior and excellent in that game and and if they continue to play like that it's going to put a lot of pressure on LCC and and I think Cornell is going to have going to be able to score give me two or three players on each side or give the fans two or three players on each side who they should really focus in on this guy might have a huge night for this team well, you know, on the Lacosta end, you have you have uh, JJ Silstrup, uh, you know, who's a left-handed attackman. He, he's good. He's young. He's a sophomore. Uh, I know we played him. He did some damage. You have uh, you have uh, Nick Beecham on on midfield. Good player. Shoots really well. Changes levels when he shoots, uh, which will provide an interesting matchup for the Coronado defense. Uh, so those are two guys in LCC you really got to look out for when you play them. Uh, I do think you know both teams have a pretty equal face-off guy. The LCC guy guys had the advantage, but the guy last night, uh, you know, between Tony and Kellen on Coronado, I think they went about 50-50 um, with, with Grant, and that, you know, if they can battle like that at the X, then that's going to change that game, especially if it's high scoring. And the Coronado end, I mean, it, it starting on the back end, you have, you know, Ironman on defense, who, who, who usually shuts down the best player. You got Gormick and Annette, you know, probably the best goalie in, in the county. And on offense, you have the shirt you're wearing. You got a guy I know pretty well, um, you know, when, when he starts moving the ball and initiating, it, it sort of gets the other five going and, and it makes their life easier. And if that happens, like it did in the last Lacosta game, uh, it's that offense really clicks. And so those, it could be a really exciting game. Absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is going to be an exciting game just out of the fact that you, you can't have it any other way with the level of talent on both of these teams. No matter if it's a one team ends up torching the other one, it's still going to be an exciting game because this is quality players just from top to bottom of each roster. You cannot go wrong with this. This game will be Saturday, this Saturday, 7 p.m. at San Marcos. This Saturday, 7 p.m. at San Marcos. Get there early. Come bug us. You will be potentially doing... 30 or 7? Might be 7.30. I hope it's at 7.30. Uh, either, either way. Let's see if it says... does not have times on any of our current teleprompters that are definitely not the CIF website that we're just <laughs> checking on as we speak. Uh, we'll have our stats intern, our stats intern that doesn't exist, uh, 7.30. I was wrong. Um, and I was right. And you were right. And that's just the standard way it has been all season long. That's a perfect note to end on. You were right. I was wrong. This game, you will be right. It will be great. It potentially will be an overtime game. Coronado, the Islanders taking down Torrey Pines to get here. LCC, the Mavericks taking down Poway to get here. Folks, this is, this is, is, is going to be the greatest championship game you will see down this whole spring stretch of, of, of sports. Absolutely come check this out. Uh, come bug us. Let us know if you think we've been right or wrong all season long. We will put up a Twitter poll that will definitely go your direction. <laughs> Coach, thank you very much for a fun year. I'm going to take this off because this smells horribly of Febreze and champions. So we will see you later, sports fans.